every day I wake up is another blessing Thankful every second getting God's protection I lost connection in the desert, I had no reception But in that time alone I probably learned a thousand lessons I used my time for introspection and some self-reflection And analyzed a couple ways to conquer my depression Everything doesn't happen the way we plan it to But if we harvest energy then we can plan it too So take a look in my eyes, that's where the story Alright, we're back and just as quick as the leaks came out, it's just as fast as Nintendo responded. And Nintendo be crazy with their beers, where um with this with their stuff. They be they be responding crazy. Oh, we're going to court all day. You oh hey you you going to court all day, buddy. You oh what you did? You leaked what? Oh no, nah, you going you did what with Super Mario, bro? You going to court, buddy. So but I don't think this is anything to go to court over there were like no documents or anything. So let's see what Nintendo says. They're probably just gonna be like, nah, ain't nothing coming. Uh that was uh nothing. Blah blah blah. Let's see what they talking about. So today I wanted to go over an interesting situation that once again shows that Nintendo, when it comes to leaks, they don't mess around. If they can find you, they will. I, I know there's been talks around nintendo ninjas and all this right that's like that's basically nintendo the, the, ninjas the nintendo ninja that race will show up and they'll find you and I think that's silence racist. you and all these different things well it looks like we had something okay. happen like that over the last couple of days and it was from a pretty reputable source in fact it looks like it was probably a bit too reputable but this is kind of falling in line with a lot of talks around nintendo looking towards a new piece of hardware a next generation switch uh, even mid-gen refresh still kind of being brought up here and there but i wanted to go over this it's been today and almost eight years what do you mean mid-gen refresh so if you guys enjoy this video make sure you wouldn't the, the like switch button. like the mid-gen refresh channel if you're new so let's take a look probably the best explanation in just a post format was over on reset era and it's kind of been bouncing around because this is from a, a, a chinese forum that's had a couple of people i believe i think it's two who have posted really from within factories it sounds like or just manufacturing basically on like that factory line oh like where they will they're know, trying to say they're making devices but also do testing and planning and all, all kinds of different things right the switch so first, let's start with the thread over on reset era that really got things rolling it, it popped up on reddit i've seen news outlets discuss this and it basically links from reset era to reddit to fama boards and then to a chinese forum so there's a lot to kind of follow here and I had to really look into this, go through a couple of people that were a bit more familiar with this situation that has been ongoing so we can. That's why I like this guy. He does that investigative journalism type joint on the game and too. You know what I'm saying? He had, he had to go search, oh, it linked to this and then it linked to that. I'm making sure I got the right stuff. You know what I'm saying? Get to the bottom of what exactly transpired here. So we can see the the forum post here discussing a leaker who works in the hardware production process and has correctly leaked switch model info such as the new stand in the switch oled the splatoon 3 switch bundle etc also discussing a more powerful system from nintendo that was speculated around last year being announced but as we know nothing more powerful than that was announced last year okay so what happened apparently is that over on the Chinese forum, they have actually removed a forum thread that discussed a lot of this early information, seemingly again from the factory level, and then also seemed to just remove the user with that information completely at the request of Nintendo. <laughs> But this is all according to the moderators Nintendo come on knocking. Forum, which is they be like, oh, I do want to I come got back you, to got you, Nintendo. a bit later. But let, let's discuss the sources here that really Famaboards have been following for a while to the point where they have nicknames. There is a Foxconn uncle and a manufacturing uncle. Apparently, uncle is what they call these sources on the Chinese forum. Although, I still think that could be through some Google Translate shenanigans possible right okay but basically they've divided these two sources up one being foxconn related the one manufacturing related 
And from what I've been able to gather, the Foxconn source has been much more legitimate and able to prove some of the stuff they've gone over, oh. whereas the manufacturing uncle appears to be more on the speculation side. Hmm. And that is where the quote unquote more powerful system for last year is coming from and obviously this is getting a lot of people talking because we're already discussing that pokemon leak that popped up on 4chan that kind of nonchalantly mentioned oh so these aren't the same isn't the same guy that switch. did the and pokemon so this is completely different guy according to the forum the chinese forum that nintendo is looking around and shutting so hold up <laughs> so the guy the the 4chan guy was like yo check all of this out and then somebody else was like, hold my beer? Is that, is that what's going on right now? Putting down potential sources and leaks that could, yes, reveal this new device early. See, we're all assuming it's going to be a more powerful hybrid system, right? Like the Switch is just going to be more capable and maybe have a fun little twist thrown in there. I, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff they could do. But there is also the possibility that it is just completely different. And that would kind of ruin yes the surprise but also some of the marketing and the way that the company wants to present it to the audience like right? it's a very specific set of doing that especially if as we assume it's nintendo and they're going to do something weird with it they probably have a very specific way and order to introduce and show off different features and yeah that might even include the form factor itself now the foxconn uh, source and that's what i'm saying though from the last video are we gonna stick to cartridges or are we gonna go back to disc? That's what I wanna know. Do they even have like the uh you know the little schematics they be having out? They don't even have that out yet, right? They be they be having those out way before all of this stuff happens. Usually they wait till that happens and then they they'll come up with the stuff, but I don't know. We'll see. Had the switch light shell, so right then and there you go. Okay, well you, you can have an image of this new device. Get out there, Nintendo. Realizing this is like let's start shutting down sources of information that could potentially damage us in the marketing and run up for this. I don't think I have one Nintendo video of Nintendo that. Uh, They're monetized. probably trying to figure out how to do the smoothest transition because there's they have a lot of people sign up for Nintendo Switch Online that is called Nintendo Switch Online. So they have to figure out, okay, how do we get them over to the newer platform while also maintaining the current one and the software sales, which are through the roof. How do we continue that going forward and bring the hundred and we'll say 30 or so million users that they will probably have accrued by the time this device comes out over to this newer platform that may be more expensive with how prices are currently now the source that is being brought up here once again is mostly being relayed by the chinese forum moderators and i do want to point out that it's possible they are i'm sure they're very aware because i think they even kind of mentioned fam boards in the in the post again it's all using google translate so you get some very strange meeting meanings and words kind of thrown in there but it seems like they realize fam boards has been following them for a while possible they're trolling them through just having fun through oh nintendo came here and said you gotta mm. shut all this stuff down and mm. well what's it done it's gotten reset era reddit and fam boards all talking about it just want to throw that out there as a possibility them just kind of having some fun with uh well a, a bunch of forums that are just following every word these sources are doing which subsequently goes through that forum but even so the source that is being referenced here with the manufacturing side more speculation based not nearly as proven as the other source that i guess isn't being named here side note that game boy advance uh joint it's gonna have some games going on play on his channel so i not now i have to pay for the expansion pack i didn't want to pay for the expansion pack they you know they put 64 up there you know uh what's the name uh 007 came out i was like i don't need it because i got game pass and they put it out on game pass but then i found out they don't put they didn't put multiplayer on the game pass version kind of bs is that you know what I mean? But yeah, soon soon they're gonna they gonna force me to uh, soon. 
Although, if we are taking all this at face value, Nintendo, I'm sure, would be pretty quick to come back and shut down anything the other source is saying, or who knows, maybe this just covers all of it indefinitely going forward. We're kind of working with limited information as the moderators of this Chinese forum didn't even want to discuss it at length, which, yeah, I guess if you have some threats from Nintendo Ninjas, you're Word. probably walking on eggshells, which That's a fact. Nintendo Ninjas are interesting in general because of the history and some of the stories that have been told around it, but oh, you just send you the kind of legal team, they're very quick to use all kinds of legal documentation, yes, even just get down and lay down with Nintendo, bro. to intimidate and, and in time silence information that could potentially hurt their overall business strategy. And Nintendo, like other companies, have ways of really figuring out where the information's coming from, and a lot of times they can do that through way of placing false rumors purposefully and then see where it kind of trickles out from, knowing, okay, we put this information here, mm -hmm. this information mm -hmm. here, this information here. We know exactly where the leaks are coming from, and they may have been tracking this form for a while anyway, especially after that Nintendo Switch Lite image appeared online because Nintendo knew that was legitimate immediately. There was no thought at all like, oh, is this fake? No, no, that's our Switch Lite shell. We got to figure out where this is leaking from. But it is hard to deny that the timing is uh, quite interesting. And if it's, if it's a coincidence, that would be a pretty big coincidence, as you would assume Nintendo would be working to figure out leaks and other things before manufacturing really gets kicked off, which let's say they're launching it. If they do do a Switch, uh, a Switch 2, instead of, you know, doing like a, a actual box console, they need to make those controllers better. The Joy-Cons are cute. The little cute controllers, I like them. But... They have to put an actual D-pad on that joint. I can't speak to stick drift because I haven't got stick drift. But. Like, they need to. I, it, I need something better to hold on to, fam. I need something better to hold on to. At the end of this year, they would want to get that started in June or July, and then who? It's that's usually when leaks start getting out there, along with marketing. Once once images and stuff get out there for promotions, then it's then it's really tough to keep that under wraps. However, I am still on the side that Nintendo is probably launching this thing in 2024 and might even attempt to reenact the Switch launch all over again because well, it worked really well. I think. The first time we're really going to see Nintendo get grilled a bit about their next generation transition and system or device will be at their annual gathering of the shareholders. That should be first week, I believe, of May, as their current fiscal year is going to be wrapping up at the end of this month, March 31st. And then things will certainly get interesting when all the investors are there who have a ton of money in Nintendo asking, okay, what's the plan over the next year because surely you're going to work to launch some sort of new hardware. Anyway, hopefully this was able to clear up some of the information that was getting out there. I know the Switch 2 fever is getting there online currently. There seems to be excitement building around the potential for Nintendo to launch new hardware in the next 12 to 14 months. And I do think that will be happening. But uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of stuff happening here with the this forum that had stuff banned and Nintendo now ma making some moves in the background but let me know what you guys think about all of this down below is this something that just coincidentally is lining up where nintendo is sending out the ninjas to take down a person in manufacturing posting to a forum nintendo or always nintendo sends the ninjas bro or the manufacturing of their new switch to system they Thanks, always guys, send the ninjas bro they always send them ninjas anytime they find uh uh, an emulator site with they stuff on. I take that down, fam. But yeah, Nintendo's doing what they always do. They going after people, making they stuff, using they stuff, and all of that. And I didn't think it's gonna be any different with this one. But luckily, ain't nobody going to court. So far, that's so far. All right, catch y'all on the next one. Deuces.
I'm hiding out, wilding out, cooling down, collecting thoughts till I find my route. And if they catch me, they'll be finding out what I'm about. Until then, I'm riding out. I'm hiding out, wilding out, cooling down, collecting thoughts till I find my route. And if they catch me, they'll be finding out what I'm about. Until then, I'm riding out, riding out. I'm a desperado, I'm living it in real life, what's next to follow, I hit the bottle.